Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is packed with organization, decluttering, deep cleaning. We're gonna be doing a huge grocery restock and fridge clean out. So lots and lots of motivation in today's video. We had several snow days in Arkansas where we were locked up in our house so we may as well make ourselves useful, right? Grab your coffee and let's get something done together today. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you, but let's jump right in. Yeah, I see it. What is it? I got to get you on. You want to put your shoes on? Yeah. So I am one of those very few people who absolutely loves snow days. I love when it gets so cold outside and icy to where the snow sticks around for a long time. I guess because I live in Arkansas and we don't get that very often, I live for those snow days in the winter. So we had about four or five days where we were stuck at the house and I had so much fun stocking up our fridge and making a snow day menu. I was talking about it over on Instagram. I actually waited until the last minute to go to Walmart. And a lot of times I try to avoid the crowd but it's also kind of fun to be part of the hustle and bustle of everybody getting their bread and milk and making sure they have everything they need before we're stuck in our house for a few days and so this time we actually went to Walmart and got stuck in all of the hustle and bustle we were in a super long line with a cart full of groceries and I told Will this is so much fun everybody's getting ready to just like be cozy for a week but anyways we've got a big snow day menu I'm gonna share that here in just a little bit we are getting our gross fridge all cleaned out and restocked for this snow week. This morning I so clear a lot as I need to see the horizon and the far. Our fridge was in pretty bad shape, so I'm going to be wiping this whole thing down. I had to throw away a bunch of leftovers that had gone bad, and we're going to be restocking here in just a second with all of our fresh fruits and vegetables, and I have been loving those sparkling ice, sparkling waters, the long skinny bottles. Those are so good, and my favorite one is just the regular lemonade. It's got zero sugar, there's no aspartame, and it's so delicious. So I've been loving those. We're going to stock up the fridge with those, and it was so nice because it made our fridge look perfectly color coordinated everything was fresh and clean and it just looked really nice so I'm excited to get that done and here in just a second I'm going to show you what all we picked up from the grocery store okay it's the next day and we're about to make some avocado toast we have a little bit of snow on the ground but nowhere near the six inches that they said we were going to get and last night we stayed up super late making some homemade pizza. So we have a whole bunch of dishes in the sink that we're gonna tackle today, along with a bunch of other deep cleaning tasks. But I wanted to stop real quick and thank Caraway for sponsoring today's video. I'm actually gonna be using their mini set today to make some avocado toast for breakfast. And I'm excited to be trying these out. This is the mini duo. And they're a little bit smaller than the rest of them, which makes it super easy to whip out on a day where you're doing something like avocado toast or something really simple because they're small and easy to cook, easy to clean. But we love Caraway in this house. 65,000 people have left five-star reviews for Caraway. There's no hard to pronounce chemicals in any of their products. They come with an amazing storage system. Caraway cookware makes for easy cooking, whether you're throwing together a quick breakfast like I am today or making a snow day feast, which we're gonna be doing lots of in the next few days. Caraway makes it a breeze with their cookware ceramic, naturally slick surface. You need minimal butter. As you can see, I can honestly cook an egg in this pan without any butter. I mostly just use it for flavor, but the surface of their cookware is hard to beat. And when it comes to washing it, you will thank yourself for investing in it because you can wipe the residue right out with zero scrubbing involved. We've had several sets of Caraway cookware and bakeware over the years, and they continue to amaze me. I've even gotten my sisters and mom loving them. I don't know about y'all, but we cook a lot, and when you have crappy cookware, it is not fun to cook or clean up. So I highly recommend getting a Caraway cookware set. They come with full storage. It fits beautifully in multiple different areas to keep all of your pans in one place looking nice. They also have a lid organizer, so you just can't beat it. They have tons of different color options, which makes it so fun to shop. Visit ap.carawayhome.com forward slash Lauren-Yarbrough 
take advantage of this limited time offer for 10% off your next purchase. This deal is exclusive for my audience, so visit ap.carawayhome.com forward slash Lauren Dash Yarbrough. And thank you so much again to Caraway for sponsoring today's video. I am gonna go enjoy that avocado toast. Okay, we are those Arkansans that went to Walmart the day before a snowstorm to stock up on milk and bread and all of the essentials because honestly, you never know in Arkansas if the weatherman's gonna be right and you're stuck in your house for a few days or if there's hardly anything. So decided to be safe rather than sorry this time. So I made a little snow day menu. Plus this is just fun for us. We rarely get snow in Arkansas. Um, so Sunday we're gonna do grandma's spaghetti or Saturday and then Sunday we're gonna do bean casserole. That's a staple in our house. Y'all know that one by now. Uh, Monday we're going to do homemade pizza and salad, Tuesday potato soup, Wednesday chicken and dumplings, and we may mix up the days that we do things, but those are the meals for the next few days because we're supposed to have quite a bit of snow, so I'm excited. First, we got a bunch of mozzarella cheese for different recipes. We got a bunch of mild cheddar cheese. I was tired of buying the little bags of cheese and having to go back and get more, so we just got the big ones this time. Got some Nathan's hot dogs because one day for lunch we'll probably do hot dogs and mac and cheese. Got strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, bananas, and we also got some Greek yogurt to put our fruit in with some honey and granola. That's one of Oliver's favorite things to eat for breakfast. Grab some avocados for avocado toast. Got some thin spaghetti noodles for spaghetti night, some corn on the cob, some onions for different recipes. Now we recently tried these, the buttery flaky crescent rolls, and we all absolutely loved them. Oliver devoured two of those in one sitting. <laughs> so I grabbed some more of those. We got some butter tasting um, biscuits and then also some cinnamon rolls for breakfast throughout the week. Got some green beans and peas. Got tomato soup for our bean casserole. Chicken broth because we're gonna be making a couple different soups. Got Oliver some fruit snacks and some Nutri-Grain bars in the strawberry flavor. Lots and lots of butter because you gotta have that for baking cookies and different recipes. We ran out of toothpaste and we really like this 3D white. Makes your teeth so white. And then got some Starbucks iced coffee. I know, crazy to drink iced coffee when it's snowing, but sometimes I just rather have it cold in the morning rather than hot. Grab some apple juice for Oliver. He has been begging for that. He also will just eat ketchup for a meal. <laughs> don't, don't ask me what's wrong with him. I'll make him a whole breakfast and he'll say, can I have ketchup? And he'll just eat it with his finger. The weirdest thing, grab some fruity pebbles just for fun and then grab some pork and beans to put in our bean casserole. The bean casserole, if you've not been around for a while, it's shell noodles, tomato soup, pork and beans. You cook an onion up with some ground beef, pour it in and you put it all in a pan with some cheddar cheese on top and bake it in the oven on 350 for like 25 minutes. It's so delicious. We also grabbed a whole bunch of whites. We got some sour cream for different recipes, some ricotta cheese because we're gonna be making some homemade green and white pizza. And with the pizza, we're gonna have salad. So I grabbed some of this Olive Garden dressing. I really like to get the Olive Garden brand, but they didn't have it today. So we'll see if that's any good. This is also for the pizza, plain goat cheese. And also for the pizza, we grab these mushrooms. So it's gonna be like a spinach mushroom goat cheese pizza. It's one of our favorites. And then I also grabbed some of this shortening to do our chicken and dumplings with. I've shared that recipe before. And then I'm gonna do some Sister Schubert rolls one night with dinner. We grabbed a loaf of Wonder Bread, got some olive oil for that pizza night. Grabbed two gallons of milk because who knows when we'll be going to the store next. Grab some mandarin oranges, that's Oliver's favorite. Some downy fabric softener because we were out. We were almost out of flour and sugar, and those are staples, so we had to get those. And back here, we've got some string cheese. We like to keep that on hand. Some Kraft mac and cheese. We also like to keep that on hand. And it never fails whenever we go to the store. We grab a bag of this Zatarin's blackened chicken Alfredo. Oliver picked these up off the shelf and insisted that we needed them, so we grabbed some graham crackers. Some extra butter popcorn some prego for an easy spaghetti night. What's this? Great jelly. We were out of jelly and peanut butter, so we got that. Some chicken bouillon powder, some Greek yogurt for breakfast in the morning. There's our spinach for our pizza night, our shell noodles for that being casserole night. What else do we got? Let's see. Some heavy whipping cream, Lay's sour cream and onion chips. I told Will to go get chips for sandwiches and stuff and that's what he picked out, so we love that. And then we also got some romaine for salad nights and some party pizza. We like these and they're easy. And then a huge pack, 60 count of eggs. 
and I have been loving these. These are like my new favorite drink ever. It's zero sugar, sparkling ice, and it doesn't have aspartame, which I love. And it's the flavor black raspberry. I also love the grape raspberry. It's like grape something. I'm pretty sure it's grape raspberry. But those are so good. We grabbed toilet paper, paper towels, all of the essentials. So we are stocked and ready for a snowstorm, y'all. But let's go ahead and put all of this away. I'm gonna be moving some stuff around, but all of Oliver's snacks, like the cheese sticks, the oranges, applesauce, yogurt, I like putting those on the very bottom row where all of the sauces are in the door because he can open the door now and get what he wants. He is getting so big, but the other day he actually got in the fridge to try to get something off of the shelf. And as you can see on the bottom of our fridge, there's a little crack. He put that crack there with his foot. So I like to put his stuff in the door. That way he doesn't have to try to climb up and get what he wants. And those are his go-tos, like applesauce, cheese, little uh, baby mandarin oranges. So he likes all of that stuff. We got our fridge all reset. It felt so good. And I was so excited to get busy cooking all of those cozy meals. There's snow all over dad's car. Wow. Where's mommy's car? My car. Is it out there too? It's so, it's so pretty. You wanna go outside? You wanna come back in? <laughs> Too cold. Okay, so there is one downside to snow days and that is dishes. There are so many dishes because we're eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner at the house and all of the coffee cups. And then we also cleaned out the fridge. So there was leftovers dishes in there that I needed to take care of. So, so many dishes. If you also have a sink full of dishes right now, take me with you and let's get those done together. Or if you have a big load of laundry to fold, I know those are the two tasks that are like never ending. Grab your phone or if you want to put me up on the TV and let's take care of this together. So Oliver and I actually made a whole bunch of chocolate chip cookies, which is why that foil is there on the stove. And here in just a second, we're gonna put those under a cake plate. 
I just made one batch, but it made like so many cookies, enough for like three families. So we have been eating on those cookies for days. They were delicious though. We just used the Nestle Toll House recipe. And I also wanted to say this, whenever I'm doing the dishes, I always jam pack my silverware little thing full whenever I'm washing dishes. Y'all have to let me know down below, do y'all like a really packed full dishwasher or do you keep it um, not as full so they get more clean, I guess? Whenever I was in college, my roommate um, and I, we would let the dishes pile up for a long time. And then when we finally did them, I would just throw them all in. I would shove them all in because who cares? You know, you just put the soap in and they get clean. But some people are weird about that and they think that the dishes don't get as clean and they may not. But it was funny because one time my roommate's mom came over and she like completely unloaded all of the dishes that I did and reloaded the dishwasher because I did it the wrong way. So don't look to me for loading dishwasher advice. I load that thing as full as I can get it because I do not want to wash dishes by hand. I already have to wash the pots and pans and the bigger items, so I am not washing any silverware by hand. Okay, now that we got the dishes done, I'm just going in with my Peony Mrs. Meyer spray and wiping everything down. This spray smells so good. It smells like a fresh bouquet of flowers, perfect for springtime. So if you want to get your hands on some, I will have it linked down below. And then recently, I went on Amazon and picked up a big pack of hot pink microfiber cloths because I was like, I'm so bored with my gray cloths. I do not want to clean the kitchen and I needed something to spice up my cleaning routine. So these pink rags have really helped. I showed them to Will and I was like, now we can will want to clean the kitchen. And he was like, yeah, that makes me want to clean the kitchen so much more. But they're just so happy. So I'm going to link those below too, just in case you need some pink cloths to clean your house. But anyways, let's get these stocked up in this little bucket. This bucket actually goes, or this little basket thing, goes in our cleaning closet, which I'm going to be organizing probably in the next couple videos. I've got some really fun stuff to organize it. We have our trash can in that closet and all of our brooms, and it is in desperate need of some help. ran to Target, of course, because we're not going to be able to go for a few days. And I really wanted to get Oliver's bathroom some new towels because all he has right now are the little baby towels that are super thin, way too small for his little body. So I needed to go get some bigger towels. And I just got these little $3 Room Essentials towels for his bathroom. They're like a mint green. Thought those were so cute. And I really wanted to get four, but they only had three. So I'm going to go to another Target and get a couple more. And then I also picked up the matching washcloths. And I got a bunch of those because like I said, all he had are the baby ones. And honestly, the baby ones are too thin and small for him, but also um, they get really moldy really fast. I'm not sure why that is. They have like a, the material they're made out of is not very good. So we're gonna wash these towels and stock up his bathroom. And then I thought while I'm at it, I'm just gonna organize and declutter that bathroom and get it really nice and organized for the new year. And that's also our guest bathroom. So I thought I would kind of fix it up to accommodate guests if they come to. So we're gonna stock that up towels and then also while I was at Target I went to the dollar section and they had these little dry erase labels and I've been meaning to make some labels for our cleaning closet because we have all those different bins with different cleaning supplies 
Um, so I was going to do it on my Cricut, but this is so much easier. You just clip them on and you can write on them. And then that way, if I want to change them, all I have to do is erase it and change it. So I'm excited about these. I got two clear ones because I figured I can organize something else in the house with them. And then I got these little cream ones for the cleaning closet. So I thought those were really cool. They just clip on. And then also I had to stock up on my toilet cleaner. And then I ran into this. It's the Sintiva Clorox Disinfecting Wipes but it's in the pomegranate, no, grapefruit and orange blossom scent, and it smells so good. Oliver and I just stood there in the target aisle just sniffing it because it smells so good. You cannot even smell the chemical in it, and we've got to have Clorox wipes on hand at all times, so I'm excited to clean the bathroom with those, but let's go ahead and wash these up. I still cannot believe that Oliver is big enough to be grown out of baby towels and washcloths. It honestly feels like yesterday that we were stocking all of that and getting ready for him to come. And now he is going on three years old. I just cannot believe that. And he is huge. <laughs> he is in a size 4T and he's almost grown out of the size 4T. He's almost in a 5T and I just can't believe it. He's grown up so fast and he's so sweet and so smart and so helpful. I'm so proud of him. I'm just getting in my feelings, but anyways, let's go ahead and get those towels all washed up. I'm going to head back into the kitchen for a second because I started noticing slops all over the cabinets and the appliances were all splotchy too, so I'm just going to wipe all of those down real quick. How often do y'all wipe down the front of your kitchen cabinets? I feel like sometimes since ours are this white cream color, I don't really see what's on them unless I really look close, especially the bottom ones. I don't ever look at those. But when I got to looking at them, I was like, that is so gross. I bet if we have company over, they would definitely see that and think that is disgusting. So I need to make this a habit probably like once a week or maybe just like when I'm wiping down the counters quickly, give them a quick wipe down because I don't want them to ever get this bad again. And I know they're not as bad as they probably could be, but they're just kind of gross. So getting that taken care of. And also my Valentine's Day decor this year is making me so happy, all of the pink and red. And if you watched me last year during the beginning of the year, I was completely put out with my house. I just wanted to throw everything away. We did a huge decluttering series and I, re I just really didn't want to decorate for Valentine's Day. I put very minimal decor out. And it was kind of depressing looking back at those videos from last year because I just didn't decorate. And this year, my decor is making me so happy. But I've had a few people ask me if I'm going to do a decluttering series like that again. And yes, I am. It's going to be starting very soon in the next couple weeks. Um, maybe in this next week, I'll start it. I've got a few projects I'm working on too. But we can probably start working room by room. We're going to go room by room again and just do each room, each closet, each cabinet and get the whole entire house decluttered again. I feel like if you do that once a year, that's plenty. It's been plenty for us all year long. Everything has had a place to go and we haven't collected too, too much stuff, uh, but it does need a good declutter again, a good reset, good organize. And I said this a couple videos back, but I want to get some prettier organization this year because I feel like that will motivate us to keep it organized even longer, especially like in the closets and bathrooms. So we're going to be working on that very soon. Be on the lookout for a large video or a large decluttering series. Okay, we went ahead and got that side of the kitchen vacuumed up and now we're headed into the nook area 
We've put a hold on looking for a new kitchen table right now because we've got a couple other projects going on behind the scenes that y'all are going to see in February. But we'll get back to that very soon and try to find a really cute table for this area. This stuff, most of this stuff got put here while I was cleaning earlier, but some of this stuff was piled here. This is kind of like our dump zone. A lot of times we'll put our jackets on the chairs and this, this area of my house I just don't really care for, which is why we need a new kitchen table. I feel like it will really help. We put all of our stuff here, everything lands here, and it just looks junky 24-7. And our clothes and shoes were over there too because we had been outside playing in the snow. But anyways, let's get this area cleaned up, wiped down. I feel like once this area gets cleaned up, it just feels like my whole house is clean because this, is, this just tends to be where we put everything. So funny story, when we were piling a grocery cart full for all of our snow day meals and snacks, I noticed like going around the store, I noticed all of the elderly people only had like canned items in their cart, as well as like a really big five gallon thing of water. And I was telling Will, I think we snow dayed wrong because <laughs> we had a bunch of things that would go bad if our electricity went out and tons and tons of just junk and snacks and we didn't get a single thing of water. And so later that evening, I was talking to Will about it and just laughing. And he goes, you know, I better go get some water. So he ran and got that big old thing of water bottles and a couple gallons of water. But luckily, we did not end up losing power. We did have our lights flicker a couple times, but we never lost power for an extended period of time, which I'm very thankful for. But now we're headed into the master bathroom. I'm going to clean up this big mess we have here. We still have Christmas decorations in here too. So I'm going to go ahead and put those away and put a few things out for Valentine's Day. than me that can make you feel picked up this thing of gloves while we were at Target and I thought they were so pretty. There was like a mint and a lavender and I love those colors so I was excited to clean with those and then also picked up this thing of grapefruit wipes I talked about earlier and y'all it smells so good. The whole bathroom smelled so good after I used these so highly highly recommend y'all need these for your bathroom or wherever if you're trying to disinfect they smell so good they don't smell like chemicals at all so we're going to go ahead and get the sinks wiped down and then here in just a second we're going to tackle some of the drawers and we're really going to do a declutter series in here too and work on the towel closet and all of that but i really wanted to take care of my makeup especially today because my sister got me a really cute makeup bag for christmas that i wanted to organize
I decided to use the pink stuff for inside the sinks because whenever I use Clorox wipes or wipes in general, I feel like all of the dust and hairs just move around. They don't really pick up well. So I like to use a sponge or a brush and then some sort of cleaning solution. So we're gonna get the sinks all cleaned up. And then here in just a second, I'm gonna share with y'all the countertop where we had that little mirror tray there and it put a rust circle where the tray was. And I asked y'all a few videos back what I should do to try to get that rust out. And several of y'all had said Barkeeper's Friend, and I didn't even think about that. I absolutely love Barkeeper's Friend. So I went ahead and tried that today, and it did do a pretty good job. I need to go back in and try to do it one more time, or maybe try something different to add to it. But it did take a lot of that color out. decorating this here in just a second but I wanted to show you all this cute little makeup case my sister got me for Christmas it opens up and it's like a travel makeup case I guess but I really want to use it for my everyday makeup so I'm thinking about getting all of my makeup out it is really gross so I need to wipe it all down maybe with those pomegranate wipes um, or I guess it's grapefruit <laughs> I need to wipe them all down and try to fit them all in this case it's got a nice little pouch here too and a zipper pouch there, lots and lots of pouches. So I'm gonna try to fit all of my everyday makeup in here and that way if I ever do need to go, I can just grab it and there's a little handle and travel with it or take it wherever I need to go. And it's just really cute. So I wanna store all my makeup in there. This is currently what my makeup drawer looks like. This is my makeup. <laughs> I've never been fancy when it comes to storing my makeup, but I wanna be. So that's my goal is to get this in order, get it all cleaned out. This is a super old beauty blender that I don't use anymore. This is all my skincare stuff and I wanna get that organized eventually too. So let's go ahead and try to get all this makeup organized in here. Okay, y'all, it really is the little things. Every single one of my everyday makeup products fit in here, and I'm so excited. 
So I've got my brushes up here. I really need to get some new brushes. I've got all of my face products right here. So my concealer, my foundation, highlighter, bronzer. And then right here I've got my powder and my, this is like my powder, blush, and bronzer. I've got my cream blush right there and my beauty blender. Actually, my beauty blender could have its own little spot. Um, don't really feel right there. But I've got my lip products right here. By the way, my sister got me this e.l.f. lip oil for Christmas. I love that stuff. I use it every single day. Um, I've got my little scissors right here because my eyebrows are wild and I have to trim them like every day. And then right here I've got all of my eye stuff. So my mascaras and my eyebrow pencil and my eyeliner. So everything fit perfect in there and I even have room for more. I still have nothing in this little zipper pocket. So lots more room to add stuff but I'm super excited. Felt really good to get all of my makeup organized. I am like the least organized person when it comes to girly stuff like clothes and makeup and I want to do better in that area because I'm going to be 30 years old this year and it's kind of embarrassing the way I store my things. They just get so messy and out of order and I just need a little bit more organization in my life and with this drawer I have my face products on one side and my makeup on the other and this kind of gets just strewn everywhere because Oliver comes in here while I'm getting ready and goes through it which I've let him do so that's my fault but it just keeps him busy while I can get ready in the morning and that helps it get even more messy so in the new year I'm going to be looking for ways to keep my makeup and my skincare more organized and we're also going to be going back through my closet I'm not really a clothes and makeup girl. I like to do that stuff. I just always tend to go more for home decor and things that make my home more functional like organization and things like that. So when I'm at the store I don't run for the clothes and shoes. I run for the home decor and so I don't really collect a whole lot of clothes. Um, so over the last year we decluttered last year. Over the last year I've collected mostly like sweatshirts, leggings, sweatpants, slippers, things like that because I'm home a lot with Oliver and cleaning for y'all so that's more of what I have but I would like to elevate my closet a little bit um, come up with a capsule wardrobe for 2024 get some staple items um, that I will wear for years to come so we're going to be working on that but for right now we're just getting our basic stuff organized let me know down below are you more of like a girly girl where you collect lots of makeup and clothes or are you more of like homemaker girl that likes to look at home decor and organization. If you are that girl, you are my girl. <laughs> That's the kind of stuff that I like to spend my money on. I feel like if I pick out a clothing item a few months later, I don't care about it anymore because I've already worn it and I don't want to be an outfit repeater, but I also just don't care for that same style anymore. So anyways, that's just how I am. But I do need to do better when it comes to makeup products and clothes. Mm -hmm. Okay, these drawers look so much better. Most of our stuff is in the guest bathroom because we get ready in there so we don't wake up Oliver. And I really want to put a stop to that because it ends up being crazy when guests come over. We have to move all of our junk back to this bathroom. So I really want to get this bathroom in working order, get everything organized, and have a place for all of our stuff so that we don't have to go back and forth. But this is a start. Everything's clean and organized, and I'm obsessed with that new bag that my sister got me. Okay, now that we've got everything cleaned, I need to decorate a little bit, and we kind of ran out of Valentine's Day decor. I used it all throughout the rest of the house. So I'm going to just take these couple things. I got this from Target Dollar Spot. It's kind of cheesy, but it'll be cute for Valentine's Day. I'm going to stick that here with a candle, and then I was thinking about hanging this up on the mirror if it's not too big, and then just doing a red hand towel. So let's go ahead and decorate.
go ahead and throw all these toys in the basket. Eventually, I want to move Oliver's baths back to his bathroom, but we bathed Opie in there one time, and it got really gross, and then we've both just been scared to bathe all over in there ever since. We bleached it and cleaned it out and everything, but we've just kind of given it some time. But I think it's time to go ahead and move Oliver's stuff back to his bathroom. That way he has his own space, and I can make this bath in here more of like a spa bath with our bath pillow and our soaps and everything. Hold on when you need a friend, I'll never let you go again. Reach out when your mind's uneasy, cause I'll understand. Hold on when you need a friend, I'll stay here to the end. Okay, now moving into our guest bathroom, aka Oliver's bathroom. I needed to fold all of his new towels. I pulled those out of the dryer. And our faucet was dripping because it was super cold outside and icy, so we had to keep all of our faucets dripping. But I'm going to go ahead and pull out these baby towels, and we like to donate our towels to animal shelters. I don't really have enough built up right now to donate, but I'm going to go ahead and put those in the pile for that. And fold up his new towels, stock his drawers, wipe everything down in here, and get it decorated cute for Valentine's Day. I will link these towels and washcloths below if you have a kid that has grown out of the baby towels or you just need to restock a kid's bathroom. I know a lot of times kids tear up towels quicker than adults most of the time and a lot of times towels get stained and stuff and I just don't like to spend a whole lot of money on them and these were three dollars a piece and then the big packs of washcloths were three dollars and I think that's a steal. They also have that really good texture for drying off but it's soft enough to not like scratch you so I love those towels so much from Target. I think they also carry a similar version at Walmart. Um, for our towels, for Will and I, we like to get them from TJ Maxx because you can get the really big ones for like eight bucks. So we're going to be restocking our towels soon too. I hear a lot of people say they can like redo their towels like every eight to ten years and I just don't see how because our towels get so grungy and dingy over just one year that I can't imagine trying to make them last for two years. They are already so gross and ready to be replaced, so we're going to be doing that soon. I found a towel I really like at Target, and it's that waffle material, and I really didn't think I would like the texture of it for drying off, but I really love it. It's not super heavy, and it's easy to dry off and handle, so I think I'm going to get some of those for Will and I. Normally, I'll get them from TJ Maxx, but these are perfect for Oliver, perfect for a kid's bathroom. But now I'm just going to take these little grapefruit wipes and get everything smelling good in here. And I'm going to take some of those sticky butterflies and put them on the mirror for Valentine's Day and add a couple of other little Valentine's Day touches. I really could have just left the red velvet ribbon on there for Valentine's Day, 
but I'm kind of bored with it. So we went ahead and switched it up for some of this Valentine's ribbon. We used this same ribbon over on the kitchen table and it's so fun. We got it from Michael's and I think next year after Christmas, I'm just going to kind of transform our Christmas decor into Valentine's Day. That way we can enjoy the tree for a little bit longer and just kind of switch it out. I don't know how I'll feel next year, but this year I was kind of wishing I had just left our tree up and decorated it for Valentine's Day because it's so easy to turn all of that red into Valentine's Day decor. But now I'm just going to pop a few of these sticky butterflies. I got these from Amazon. They're so fun. I will link them below. They do have a dye on them that comes off on your fingers, but not a huge deal. You just wash your hands and it comes right off. But I think that turned out really cute for Valentine's Day. Now that we've got everything cleaned and decorated, I'm just going to go ahead and take down our Christmas shower curtain and replace it with our everyday shower curtain. And this bathroom will be completely reset for little Oliver. So glad to have that done. So glad to have our whole house decorated for Valentine's Day. It's so much fun this year. But thank y'all so much for stopping by today. I hope you got some motivation to tackle something around your house. Don't forget to check out Caraway. Everybody needs a set of Caraway cookware. But I will see y'all very soon. Bye.